Hello, my hot potato. Today, I am sharing what a day in the life of a retail pharmacist looks like. If you have any questions, just comment below and I can make a Q&A follow-up video. So I do my usual morning routine. Sometimes I hit the snooze button to sleep in a bit longer, but most days I head downstairs to hang out with my nieces for breakfast. The girls were so tiny here, but still bossy, so I always share whatever I was eating. When I first graduated, I actually wore makeup to work, but that lasted barely a month, and now all I do is brush my teeth, slap on sunscreen, and I'm out the door. I've been in retail pharmacy for 10 years, four of which was at a grocery chain as a student, and the remaining at two big name chains. I started as a floater pharmacist for less than a year before I got a permanent store. At this point, I'm a staff pharmacist at a medium volume store in Chestnut Hill. I filmed this around the beginning of the pandemic before already challenging work conditions became absolutely unbearable. So keep that in mind when you're watching the rest of this video. The workday starts with a temperature check due to COVID precautions. The opening and closing pharmacists or technicians records the fridge temperatures that holds our vaccines and medications. At my store, I open or close with one technician, and if I'm lucky, a second comes in the afternoon or someone from the front store helps us with the registers. Our order for any out-of-stock medications or additional inventory comes around this time, and I'm talking multiple totes of medications, including controlled substances, so the pharmacist has to make sure that delivery is correct, documented, and stored safely behind the safes. I take the first hour typing up as many electronic prescriptions as I can, following up on doctor calls, transfers, and any unresolved issues from the night before. We also pull any prescriptions that weren't picked up on time and return them to the inventory. And I cannot forget about the hundreds of patient outreach calls regarding refills or MTM related issues, which are all part of our store metrics. Regardless of the store's volume, you will likely always have half the staff that the job requires. One pharmacist or technician is basically doing the work of three people in one shift with no increased pay, all while corporate continues to cut hours for our support staff. From open to close, we are in a level 10 frenzy trying to do our jobs while dealing with angry patients, threatening to call corporate, and trying to pick up one of the 10 simultaneous phone calls, COVID testing, giving up to 100 COVID flu shingle shots in a shift making prescription transfers, compounding medications, and ringing up the long lines of people at the front and the drive through This job is physically and mentally taxing, and a lot of technicians and pharmacists, including myself, lose a considerable amount of weight from the stress or just not having the time to eat or use the bathroom in that 8 to 12 hour shift. And if you stay, sometimes even 14 to 16 hours. Many of us got on antidepressants and anxiety medications to just cope with the growing demands, not to mention how bad our knees and back hurts from running around and standing all day. In the last one to two years of my retail experience, I finally got on antidepressants and anxiety medications and started going to therapy. This was my wake-up call and when I finally enforced clearer boundaries and put my mental and physical health first, I came in and I left on time, forced myself and my team to eat our lunch, drink our water, and use the bathroom when we needed to. You know, just basic human things that unfortunately many of us didn't have. Oof, that was a little heavy, wasn't it? But when I look back, at my time in retail, I still treasure the relationships that I've built through the years with my patients, my technicians, and other pharmacists. My team and I stayed on that burning ship for as long as we could, finding comfort being on it together. I'm now happy and healthy, working full-time from home for a PBM, just rolling out of bed in my onesie to my desk and working. So if you're in retail currently, please work at a pace that is safe for your license and your patients. Don't let this company ruin your physical and mental well-being, relationships, career, happiness, and your life. Let the cues burn if you must. That's all I have for you today. Share any personal stories or questions that you have below, and I will see you next Thursday. Pinky swear.